again, it is September 2nd and it's Wednesday. So today is Wednesday, September 2nd, and it is now time for our writing lesson. Let me get to our handwriting page. Okay, can you see our next letter? So, so far we've done A. A says A, like apple. We've done B. B says B, 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 like baby. C, C says K, 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 like cat. D, D says D, 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 like dog. E, E says E, 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 like eggs and elephant. F, F says F. It's like you're putting your teeth on your lip and you're blowing. And yesterday we did G. G says G, 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 G. And now today we are going to do H, which says So it's like you're opening your mouth and breathing right on your hand. So let's take a look at our uppercase H. So uppercase H looks pretty easy, just a few straight lines, right? You start at the top of the writing line and go straight down. Pick that pencil up. You go over a little bit, not right next to it, but you go over a little bit. We're at the top of the line again, and we go straight down to the bottom. Pick that pencil up. We go to the middle and connect them. It kind of looks like a ladder, doesn't it? You know how a ladder looks kind of like that? So it kind of looks like a ladder, but without all the extra steps. Let me show you again. You start at the top and you go straight down. Pick up your pencil. You go over to the side, a little space in between. Top to bottom. Pick up your pencil. Then you go to the middle where your broken line is and connect it. That little middle broken line, it helps you get that middle straight if you stay right on it. Right, I'm going to show you again. I think it's pretty easy, so I'm going to show you one more time, and then we'll hop right into our journal. Again, you start at the top and go straight down. Try not to go all wiggly. Try to keep it as straight as you can. Top to bottom. Pick that pencil up. Go over a little bit. There should be a space, just like a ladder. And then you start at the top, and you go straight down. Pick your pencil up again, and then go to the middle and connect them. I think we got this. Let's go, to our, let's go to our journal. We got this. All right, you got your journal and your pencil, and you are ready to draw. All right, I've got my smart, smart pen. All right, we're on the first line doing our uppercase H's. So here we go. Start at the top and go straight down. Pick that pencil up, go over a little bit, start at the top again, and go straight down. Pick that pencil up, and then connect it in the middle. Just like that. And you don't want your H too skinny. That is so skinny. We do not want our H looking that skinny. No, no, no. And you also don't want it super wide. That is too wide. The H should not look like that. Nay, nay. No way. Mm -mm. So let's start at the top and straight down. Pick your pencil up. Go over a little bit. Top to bottom, straight down. Then go to the middle and go across. And there. H for hi. Hello. How are you? Let's do another one. Top to bottom. Pick that pencil up back to the top and straight down pick your pencil up again and then go to the middle and connect it now when you connect the middle so i have my my one side and my other side you don't want to go past the two sides it, it shouldn't go past we don't want these little hang-offs or these little tails right here can you see that we don't want that we want it to end right at the side. So I'm going to cross that one out. We don't want it to go past the sides. 
All right, let's write another one. Start at the top and go straight down. Pick that pencil up. Go over a little bit and go back to the top and go straight down. Pick that pencil up. Go to the middle and connect. That's pretty nice. All right, I'm going to go back to the video or back to our handwriting page. Let's check out our lowercase h. Oh, sorry, guys. All right, now let's do our lowercase h. So the lowercase h, you start at the top again, and we go straight down to the bottom, then we go straight back up to the middle, and one hill. I'll show you again. Start at the top and go straight down. You're just watching right now. Go straight back up, and then a hill. Let me show you something that I don't want it to look like. So when you go down, and you go back up to the hill, there shouldn't be this space right here. We don't want a space, no space. We want it to look like it's all one piece. Do you see how it's just one piece? There's no big space right here. No big spaces, no big spaces. Oh, sorry guys. So again, you start at the top and go straight down don't pick your pencil up off the paper. Keep it on the paper and just go straight back up and then your hill. Do you see how my finger did not come off the board? I'm going to keep it on the board. Straight down, back up, and then a hill. And we also don't want a really wide one. That is way too big. Way too big. And we also don't want a really skinny one. Come on, look at that. Does that even look good? No, say no, Miss Pierce, that doesn't look good. We don't want a really skinny H. We want one that's just right. Straight down, back up, and a hill. Remember, you start that hill at that middle line right here where your broken line is. Do you think you're ready for journal? I think you are. We can do this. Grab your pencil. Here we go. Start at the top and go straight down. Go back up to the middle and the hill. H for hill. <laughs> Start at the top and go straight down and then go straight back up and then a hill. Looking good. Start at the top and go straight down and then a hill. Remember, we don't want really big hills. We don't want it really wide. That does not look good. And we also don't want it really skinny. We don't want it really skinny. That is just too skinny. All right, let's do that again. Start at the top, go straight down, go straight back up, and a hill. And make sure you're ending your letter H right on that bottom line. We don't want it to be too short. And we also don't want it to go past that line. This is too short and that is way too long. I think I've got enough room to fit one right here. Start at the top, go straight down, go back up and a little hill. Okay, let's illustrate something that starts with H. We can do some hills. Those are those are pretty easy, actually. Let's do some hills. I always liked illustrating hills when I was little because they are so easy. So a hill, it's kind of just like a curvy line, and you could do another curvy line and another curvy line, just like that. Those are the hills, and then you can color them in. I'm going to pick this color. Then you can color them in. These are my hills. Now, these are hills, not mountains, because mountains are nice and sharp and pointy at the top, but hills are nice and round and like round and smooth. Do you ever roll down some hills before? 
I get dizzy pretty easily, so I do not like spinning or rolling down. I can barely make it through roller coasters. All right, hills, H, I, L, L, and S. We haven't practiced this, but just do your best. It's a curvy around and then a curvy back. We will practice those. Let's try to, oh, that's some thunder I hear. Let's try to think of something else that we can illustrate that starts with an H. So we've got hills, got the word high. Um, how about a house? Yeah, a house. Now, if you've never illustrated a house, don't worry about it. it. We know our shapes. If we just put our shapes together, we could do it. So let's first draw a square. Remember your square is the same size on all sides. And then a triangle for the roof. Yeah, my, tri <laughs> my roof's a little slanted, it's okay. And then I'm gonna add a rectangle for the chimney. and a rectangle for the door, a square for the window, another square, a circle for the door handle. I'm gonna put a letter T in here so it looks like window panes. I'm gonna add some smoke out of this chimney. And that's a really easy house. So I'm gonna write house, H, O U S E house and you can color that house whatever color you want I'm gonna do like a red brick oh my gosh I forgot to change the size uh, I do some like red brick when I do brick I kind of do a bunch of lines but not a bunch of even lines. They're kind of uneven. And I'm going to color it in and make it brick. I like brick houses. Siding is pretty cool too because you can make a house any color. Blue, brown. Brick houses are usually just red. Like a dark red, sometimes a light red. Oh, there's white brick too. Or like a cream colored brick. There's my brick house. I think I'm going to do a dark red on top for my roof. Don't forget to send me a picture of your H's, your hills, and your house. So again, we're working on H, and H says, <sighs> it's like you're breathing out a lot of air. <sighs> That's your H. So we have hills and house. Okay, my friends, that's the end of our writing lesson for Wednesday, September 2nd. Bye, guys.